ESPN Studios. It's Braves Beat. Hey Braves, welcome to our third episode of Braves Beat for the 2021 school year. My name is Garrett O'Brien. And I'm Caleb Kinnon. So Garrett, what are you planning for this weekend? I'm going to the Hofstrap Manor for a camp out this weekend. Anyways, we have a lot of news to cover, so let's get into it. Hey Braves, welcome back to Plan A. We're one step closer to being normal. That being said, there are still rules in place to protect you and others. You all may have heard that we are now trying to stay at least four feet apart instead of six, but that doesn't mean you can walk beside your friends in the halls. Remember to keep the center of the halls clear and walk along the walls. Making sure to distance yourself from those in front and behind you. That being said, teachers, please remember to stagger your students' dismissals so this may be easier for them to achieve. Also, there are now allowed to be four people at tables with the four-way plexiglass instead of just two. But remember to keep yourself separated with the plexiglass and don't share food or other items. We will still be wearing masks at all times aside from lunch, scanning barcodes to leave a classroom during class time and at lunch tables, and cleaning our desks. Finally, please remember to have your parents fill in the morning health check-ins. Hey Braves, want to show your support for our school using your favorite app? Make some TikToks. Braves Beat will be starting a new segment called TikTok Time. Feel free to send in your own TikToks or your favorite TikToks from other people to share your pride and your humor with our school. Remember, all the TikToks you send have to be school appropriate. And don't forget to stay socially distanced and wear masks if you make TikToks with anyone else. One TikTok will be chosen each week as the TikTok highlight of the week. Since we can't have an activities fair this year, David Kaladenko put together the club's corner to show off a few clubs each week. Let's check it out. Hey Braves, welcome to this week's Club Corner. I'm your host, David Haldenko. Interested in technology and media? Want to learn how to broadcast and film while spending time with your friends? Then the Indian Hill Television Network is for you. IHTN has been serving the Indian Hill School District since 1998. Since those early days, the club has made many improvements, including high definition, network device integration, robotic cameras, and instant replay for sports. Several former club members have gone on to successful careers in the film and sports broadcasting industry. I have with me Robert Runner, who is the current president for IHTN. Hello. So, Robert, what have you most enjoyed at IHTN? Um, I've gotten to spend a lot of time with my friends, actually. Freshman year, I started directing all the live sports programs and had a really fun time with that. I've gotten to be able to meet some people I wouldn't have met otherwise, and it's just, it's a really interesting field that I wouldn't have learned about otherwise. So, what has your most interesting experience at IHTN been? One of the former IHTN members, I got to work with him. He works for ESPN, and I got to go to a shoot in Kentucky for a basketball game, which was really fun. That's fascinating. Thanks for sharing. What have you learned at IHTN? Um, I've learned a lot of leadership skills. Um, stepping, I had to step up early freshman, sophomore year and be able to talk to people in a very communicative way. This was Robert Brunner president of IHTN Studios. For more information, contact Mr. Dupps and Robert Brunner. Something's up with the yearbook for this year. I'm not sure why, but the team is calling it the Your Book. <laughs> like I need anything else to work on right now. But this has me intrigued. I overheard Ms. Pfeiffer telling someone over the phone that this will be like no other yearbook and something no other school has ever pulled off. If any school can do it, I know we can. Here's what I know so far. <laughs> Do you love to draw, photograph, or create art? Do you want to share your creations with other students and become inspired? 
Then join the Visual Arts Club. Students in the Visual Arts Club use photography, electronics, and traditional media to create any form of art and share it with the Indian Hill art community. The Visual Arts Club also completes art-related services for the school and outside community organizations. If you're interested, contact Ms. Pfeiffer for more information. Are you interested in cybersecurity and web development? Do you like to mess around with software and code? Then you should join the Indian Hill Hack Club. The Hack Club is a software development and cybersecurity club which works with the International Hack Club Organization and the Inter-Alliance of Greater Cincinnati to provide students the skills and experience needed to become masters of digital security. There are also various competitions and fun activities hosted throughout the year. For more information, check out hackih.org or contact Reese Tuttle and Mr. Siebenauer for more information and how to join. Are you interested in the medical field? Do you like to compete with others while preparing for a future career? Then join the Health Occupations Students of America Club at Indian Hill. HOSA is a medically based organization geared for students interested in the medical profession. The organization puts on conferences every year, including a fall, state, and international conference for students to compete in. There are a variety of topics covering many specialties, including dental science, extemporaneous writing, medical law, behavioral health, prepared speaking, and more. If you're interested, contact Mr. Broxtoman or Pranav Rostogi for more information. If you would like to have your club be featured on a future episode of Bravespeed, send an email to david.holodenko21 at ihsd.us and officialbravesbeat at gmail.com with the name of your club and the teacher leading it, a brief synopsis, and some photos or videos. Thanks, Braves. Thanks, David. Now on to sports from this week. Last Friday, the Braves football team defeated the Marymount Warriors by a score of 51-14. to The running game was what got Indian Hills offense rolling, scoring a total of four touchdowns with 305 yards. Charlie Sumero accounted for 200 of those yards and also had two touchdowns. Ty Thornton was also able to run in a touchdown and threw a 79-yard touchdown pass to Luke Hammond. Defensively, the Braves had five sacks led by junior linebacker Will Adair and defensive lineman Declan O'Dell. Charlie DeGenero also had a kickoff return that he returned for 90 yards and a touchdown. He also had an interception to keep Marymount out of the end zone in the third quarter. Go Charlie. The Braves in total had three turnovers, the other coming from Luke Hammond and Antoine Peake. The Braves are now 3-0 and tied with rival Wyoming for first in the CHL. The Braves are also ranked third in state at the moment. Don't forget about our golf team. Varsity Golf suffered their first loss of the season. They're now 13-1 but are getting ready to bounce back. For those who don't know, Rosh Hashanah is the Jewish New Year, a time of prayer, self-reflection, and repentance. It starts this evening and goes until the afternoon of Sunday, September 20th. This week, Mexicans are celebrating their independence. Let's take a closer look with Jade Zarco. This week, on Wednesday, September 16th, it was Mexican Independence Day. Every year, the president will come out on a balcony at the National Palace and repeat the Independence Proclamation. Usually, about one million people gather at the National Palace Plaza to celebrate and hear him. However, this year, there was no audience due to COVID. Shout out to those of you who celebrate your family's culture. Viva Mexico! That's exciting. Well, that's all of the news we have for this week. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And as always, stay classy, classy Indian Hill. Hill. Hello Braves, today we'll be doing some interviews for some of the new people joining our Braves Beat team. Now, uh, what made you choose Braves Beat? Um, I just felt that it would be fun to work in, on a news program. So what made you choose Braves Beat? Um, I've always loved video editing and it just looked like it would be a really fun class. Alright, do you have any previous work experience? So what made you choose Braves Beat? Is he okay? Is he with you? 